Assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you hope you are fine by the grace of almighty allah welcome to nibs home school this is shahada director assistant teacher of science of national Aerial english version school district today i am going to take an elementary science class for class 3 students my dear students our today's topic <coughs> chapter 2 reading and page number 6 to 10 and our today's lecture number is 4 so let's start our class chapter 2 living and non-living things <coughs> we are surrounded by many things such as birds trees houses and ponds that make our environment we are surrounded by many things such as birds trees houses and ponds that make our environment okay uh, my dear students underline this line this line is important for um, fill in the blanks okay we are surrounded by many things such as birds trees houses and ponds that make our environment uh, now we study in our classroom there are chairs tables benches doors and windows in it now living and non-living things <coughs> what are living and non-living things all things can be classified into two groups living things and non-living things my dear students uh, highlight this line underline this line you have to memorize properly this line also a question answer all things can be classified into two groups living things and non-living things now question what are living and non-living things and we <coughs> already discussed what are living and non-living things okay now uh, we will discuss about living things uh, people animals and plants are living things okay people animals and plants are living things living things can grow and change living things can grow and change and they can produce other living things living things need water food and air to survive my dear students underline this line and you have to memorize properly this line also question answer fill in the blanks and one word also okay people animals and plants are living things living things can grow and change they can produce other living things living things need water food and air to survive my dear students now uh, see this figure living things are growing okay here is a uh, baby then uh, uh, he's a boy and this is a man that means living things can grow okay and see this figure living things need water all living things need water to survive and the, uh, this figure living things need air to breathe all living things need air to breathe and these are the characteristics of living things okay now come to here there are two kinds of living things there are two kinds of living things how many kinds of living things there are two kinds of living things plants and animals plants and animals trees and grasses are plants and people cows fish butterflies and birds are animals okay these are the examples of animals people cows fishes butterflies and birds are animals now come to non-living things chairs cars tables and books are non-living things okay these are the examples of non-living things cars chairs tables and books are non-living things air water and soil are also non-living things these also are question answer okay these are the examples of non-living things air water and soil are also non-living things non-living things do not eat drink and grow my dear students this line is important for you and memorize this line non-living things do not eat drink and grow and they cannot produce things like themselves they cannot produce things like themselves my dear students <coughs> we have discussed what is non-living things and what is what is living things and what is non-living things and what are the differences between living things and non-living things okay uh, now come to living things uh, living things plants and animals there are two kinds of living things plants and animals we already 
learn this one there are two kinds of living things plants and animals plant a plant has roots stems branches leaves etc okay plants these are the characteristics of plants a plants has roots stems branches leaves etc usually plants are rooted in one place plants cannot move from one place to another okay plants do not see hear and smell plants do not eat food but can make their own food these are the characteristics of plants and these are very very important memorize this one okay a plant has roots stems branches leaves etc usually plants are no, uh, rooted in one place plants cannot move from one place to another plants do not see hear and smell plants do not eat food but they can make their own food okay now come to animal an animal has body parts like legs wings and fins that helps to move okay my dear students this one is also a question answer memorize properly this one okay an animal has body parts like legs wings and fins that helps it to move most animals have the ability to move freely okay and animals cannot make their own food animals eat plants and other animal as food animals use their eyes ears nose mouth and other body parts for their senses these parts helps to them to see hear smell and taste taste things okay my dear students this um, one question what are the characteristics of plants and animals now we can say what are the characteristics of plants and animals that means plants as roots stems branches leaves uh, etc animal has body parts like legs wings and fins okay uh, plants can make their own food and animals cannot make their own food uh, plants uh, uh, can move plants cannot move and animals can move freely okay now come to here plants there are plenty of plants around us plants have root stems and leaves some plants have flowers and bear fruits some plants have stems and branches okay these are the characteristics of plants also okay and people can harvest foods from plants and there are so many kinds of plants in this earth okay now uh, how can we classify plants okay we'll discuss this um, topic in uh, in this page and see this figure activity different types of plants they are given uh, different um, this uh, this is water lily uh, hibiscus that means joba mango this is the figure of um, uh, paper plant dekhi shak pedi moss and mushroom these are the different types of plants and we can classify these plants um, we will discuss this now plants can be classified according to their flower size and stems okay my dear students underline this one plants can be classified according to their flower size and stems non flowering plants and flowering plants that means uh, plants can be classified into two types non flowering plants and flowering plants a plant that does not bear flower this is called non flowering plant my dear students underline this line and you have to memorize this one this one is question answer also a plant that does not bear flowers is called a non flowering plant moss and ferns uh, are non flowering plants okay these are the example of non flowering plants moss and ferns that means dekhi shak are non flowering plants uh, a plant that has flowers is called flowering plant what is called flowering plant underline this line and you have to memorize this one this one is question answer okay a plant that has flowers is called a flowering plant rose hibiscus mango and water lily are flowering plants these are the example of flowering plants okay <coughs> see this figure dekhi shak moss these are non flowering plants okay these are the examples of non flowering plant and here given mango and water lily these are flowering plants these are the example of flowering plants now come to classify the size and stem of plants plants such as paddy mustard and chili are called herbs okay underline this one this one is also a broad question answer okay what is herbs plants uh, such as paddy mustard and chili are called herbs a herb is smaller than a shrub 
and uh, and have soft stems. Okay, these are the characteristics of herbs. A herb is smaller than a shrub and uh, have so, uh, soft stems. Their roots remain at the surface of the soil. Their roots remain at the surface of the soil. And this group includes chili, gourd, pumpkin, spinach, etc. Okay. And plants such as rose, rongon, and hibiscus are sharps. Okay. This one is also example of sharps. Rose, rongon, and hibiscus are sharps. A sharp is a woody plant smaller than a tree. A sharp is a woody plant smaller than a tree. And they have several branches rising from near the base of the stem. And their roots do not enter deep into the soil. My dear students, this one is a broad question answer. So memorize properly this um, underline. A plant which is large in size with a woody main stem and with branches and leaves is called a tree. Okay. What is called tree? A plant which is large in size with a woody main stem and with branches and leaves is called a tree. Their roots enter deep into the soil and these are the example of tree. Mango, jackfruit, um, wood, ap wood apple are example of trees. Here are given some example. Uh, see herbs, chili that means chili is uh, the example of herb. Here given rose, rose are the example of shrub, and uh, here given mango, mango, mango tree. These are the example of tree. This is the example of tree. Okay, my dear students, I hope all of you have understood properly our today's topic. Uh, memorize properly this underlined line. Okay, see you again in the next class. Allah Hafiz.